Don't let him go. Don't let him go around that side. Oh, oh, don't let him go that side. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Wow, he's mad. That is just crazy that that big of a fish is in this small river. Yeah, right? Insane. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Alaska. Now, you're probably wondering, how did I get to this point? Why am I in Alaska? And what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm here to explain that. So, 15 hours ago, Caitlin, my wife, and I traveled from central Wisconsin all the way to MSB, Minnesota and got on a plane took a seven hour plane ride to alaska anchorage and yeah we are here took about a two hour power nap now we are at a river i have no idea exactly what i'm doing luckily though i am up here with a seasoned vet who is going to uh be helping me out on this adventure so let me go ahead turn the camera around you guys know who this is. This is John Lehman from Mendeck Outdoors. How's it going, guys? And he has been living up here for how many weeks now so far? Uh, so far it's been a month and it's been a lot of fun. I invited Nick and Caitlin to come and experience this. Uh, over the next course of videos, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things, but today's adventure begins in a small, tiny, dirty creek and we're gonna be fishing for king salmon and i don't think nick's ever caught a king salmon so if he lands one today it's gonna be pretty monumental Mo monu monumental monumental that's that's how you say that it's early in the morning like i said we have not gotten much sleep uh i landed in at nine o'clock i think alaskan time which is midnight my time and then we had like a two and a half hour drive slept for two hours drove an hour to the spot this morning but guys this is this is crazy like john was saying going for king salmon this morning and like he said i have never caught one before so this would be an absolute first and i know it's kind of shocking because i do live near the great lakes but i can't think of a better way to land my first king salmon than up here in alaska this is a bucket list destination place for me yeah i actually can't believe i'm here the scenery was absolutely gorgeous coming up driving through the mountains to this spot and yeah it's it's going to be one hell of a week so i'm going to put a put away the big camera got the gopro on we're going to start fishing and see if we can make some magic happen so this is the rig that we're starting out with and it looks a little different than what i'm used to uh looks to me like one of those 25 cent gumballs that you get from the machines if you go to like a pizza place um, and then just a single hook and a bobber so I'm not exactly sure John said it's just like we're crappie fishing uh, except for we're going for a 30 pound king salmon yep. so <laughs> pretty much this dude. should be an adventure Then today is the day. Nick hasn't put the time in yet. That's true. What is that? Oh, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep it low, keep it up. Keep it low. Keep it low. Yeah. There you go, bro. Uh, if he wants to run, just let him run. Let him run? Yeah. Yeah, I seen it go down and Nick was just like... <laughs> well, I, okay, it, it happened like a lot of times before that. Let's go, baby. I gotta see if it's a hatchery or a wild. Oh, that's pretty big, though. It looks pretty big. 
Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll just get tired out in there, then I'll grab him when he's ready. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> so you just gotta talk a little smack? Yeah, dude, we were just talking crap, man. <laughs> If you need to loosen the drag or tight, I mean, it looks pretty good right now. Yeah, he's able to pull. Yeah. Hoping we have that hook right in the corner. <laughs> Enjoy it, Nick. Enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> it all happened so fast. Yeah. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Wow. I, that, that's a big, yeah, that's big, bro. They do fight. Oh, I mean, he's not even running, but I can yeah. just feel the power. Don't let him go. Don't let him go around that side. Yeah, walk up, walk up, walk up. Down to him. Don't let him go on the other side. It's where he's right now. He's fine. Yeah, let's let him chill. You like can't even do anything. No. Like you just kind of let it, them. Yeah. Like tire themselves yeah, out. Yeah, you just yeah, just don't let him go around that rock. If he does, then you can give me the rod and I'll go across for you, brother. <laughs> okay. I actually will. It's scary that he's over there. Yeah. So it's all right. This is yeah, it's fine. Oh, he might run up to you. Kind of seems like he's trying. <laughs> Let's. Oh God. <laughs> he's mad, bro. <laughs> That's a nice fish, Nick. That's a nice fish, bro. Yep. Oh, oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Walk this way, walk this way, walk this way. Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, God. Yeah, good. Okay. I think it's a hatchery, bro. Uh, you said without a fin? Yep, without an adipose fin. Yeah, you just let him sit there and get tired. Wow, he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been, Nick? How long have you been sitting here? Uh, it's, what, hour and a half at least, right? Something. I'm pretty sure it's a hatchery, so that means we can keep it. Wow. Which is, like, lit. Yeah. David Gosling will be happy, but I'm not for sure yet. Nice one, Nick. That is just crazy that that big of a fish is in this small river. Yeah, right? Insane. Yeah, he's getting tired. Let's, Let's go, go, dude. Let's, Let's go. Oh my god. Tanker. Wow. And so guys, this is uh this is what we this is a king salmon. This is a hatchery. And on this river, you can only keep hatchery fish. And how you can tell is you see his dorsal right here, and then where my hat's pointing right here, they clip the adipose fins. So that's how you know if it's a hatchery or not. If this is a wild, if it had that fin, we'd have to let it go and not take it out of the water. But beans that this is a hatchery, Nick Goslin just caught his first ever king salmon. And it's, wow. It's, it's, it's heavy, bro. It's a nice one. Wow. Uh, all right, guys. My first ever king, not just only in Alaska, but my first king salmon ever in my entire life. I'm sorry for like the non-emotion during that fish catch, but like we've been doing this for like two hours now. And I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I've seen their videos and kind of like get a gist of what's going on but like when the bobber actually went down i was not paying attention and then both of them are like hey bobber's down and then all of a sudden like the fish was just like jumping back there in like five inches of water which is crazy and i couldn't really feel the whole power of the fish until he started to go upstream luckily this one didn't do like a ton of runs um but i could feel the power of these fish it's just insane and then to do it in a creek well it's a river but like 
I mean, I could almost jump across this thing. It's just insane for a size of a fish like this. Nick, how long have you been in Alaska for? Well, like five hours. Yeah. Like total. Yeah, and you already got your first king. Yeah, I know. Like I said, like trip of a lifetime here. This is what I've been dreaming of doing. And I already caught like the top of the list. Now there's still a whole list that I got to go down, but this was the hardest one and we did it on day one. Well, yeah, it's just crazy. But that's the first one. We're still gonna be fishing for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but first one, I'm excited. Well guys, give you a little update. It is like seven o'clock in the morning. We've been here for what, four hours now? Yeah. Four hours, it is sunny, and the bite has just been non-existent. I mean, we only did catch one fish, uh, but I don't like our chances here with the sun. Um, you can see everything and they can probably see everything as well. So plan of attack now is we are gonna drive back um, John is gonna clean my fish for me and then we have to what we have to go Get drop it vacuum it sealed. Yeah, drop it off to the seafood processor Seafood processor get that all taken care of and uh, Probably show you guys like the place that we're gonna be staying for the week and Yeah, we'll just see where the day takes us But I thought I'd pick it up tell you that we are leaving the first spot and yeah I'll just have the camera on me throughout the day and see where it takes us Well, we have made it back to the home base. We are at the cabin. Go ahead, turn the camera around, give you guys a brief little rundown. We are gonna be here for the next nine days, so you're gonna be seeing this a lot. So go ahead, turn around. Got John's tundra, which is actually looking pretty sexy. You heard that. What'd you say? I said the tundra is actually looking sexy. Yeah, when it's not getting run into oh, snow plows. Did you do it? We walk no. over here. Seriously? We got, oh gosh. This is like what I was saying. I got my wife, Caitlin, with me. Hi. And Lindsay. We just woke up. <laughs> Go inside. Got a little mud room. Open up and this is the main living quarters. TV couch, dining table, pretty big kitchen, go down the hallway, bathroom. This is uh, Kate and I's bedroom, John and Lindsay's, Sam, and that's about it. Go ahead, head back outside, John's on cooler duty, gonna start filleting the fish up. What do you think we got here, John? I said 36 at the river. Oh yeah, 37 and uh, like 30, a little over 37. Dang. That's like the biggest one we caught. Sam caught one that was 37 too, so that tied for like the biggest one so far of the year, man. Dang, first king salmon, 37 and a half. And John just said that it's like over a 20 pound fish, which this one's definitely chunky. So I, I would believe that's over 20 pounds. Plus carrying it up the stairs, I felt that. But John is gonna be uh, showing how to fillet this bad boy. I've never seen a salmon get filleted. I mean, I'd imagine it's just like any other trout, right? Yeah, a little bit different. There's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, this is the way that I do. So we got this big chungus right here. I would suggest like getting a 12 inch blade. I only have a seven inch blade, but since Nick catches too big a fish, we're, you know, you need a bigger blade, but this is gonna work. So I like taking off this top right here first. Then I like flipping her. Cutting down here a little bit. Cutting these fins off, it just makes it easier in the long run. 
And then at this point, you could open it up and take out the guts if you want to, but like, I'm not gonna do that right now, but you could do that if you wanted to. And then you just take your blade and you're gonna make kind of like a cut right here. I always like to get as far as you can up here because this is like really good meat and a lot of people just would go right here and they miss out on some of the meat. So make sure to angle your blade over here. Kind of do one of these like that. And this meat is just like gorgeous, gorgeous looking meat. Then you take your blade and you find the backbone. Then you just follow that backbone all the way down. Look Jeez. at that. Wow. Kegger, dude. Absolute kegger. That meat is looking... It that looks, is like as fresh as it gets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Not too bad. Not bad at all. And then what I like to do before I bring it over to the processor, I like quartering them up for them already so they don't have to cut it up anymore. They're just throw them in the vac sealer and then freeze them and then store them. But yeah, we'll just take this and then I'll put them into good proportions here. That is a big chunk of meat off one fish. Yeah, it's crazy, dude, isn't it? All right, you guys. So it is two days later after we caught that king salmon and now we are going to begin the cooking process now what has happened since john cleaned that salmon and right now is we went to a place that basically like john cut it up you bring it to them they vacuum seal it and what they put it in a cooler and like hold it for you yep. so like the whole time that i'm here everything that i catch we're just going to be bringing to them and uh drop it off and they just Pretty much do all the work, keep it there, and then when I leave, go pick it up. So if I go over here to Sam, you can see each one of these chunks are smaller pieces. Now we got, I think, almost 10 pounds of meat off of that one fish. So we did about half of it vacuum sealed, and then we did about half for us to eat tonight. Slayman is already in the cooking process. What do we got going on here? How are you gonna be preparing these fish for us tonight? So everybody wanted like, a crab cake kind of deal so we're gonna make like salmon cakes that's kind of like the theory we're going for but we're just slicing up our king salmon really thinly and into small pieces almost like like just tiny little nuggets basically and we're gonna mix that all together with some mayo and some breadcrumbs and a whole bunch of seasonings and half a lemon it'll be really tasty and then we're gonna throw it in the pan and sear it up and it'll be good we're also throwing in some caramelized onions once those get done though Making that into a little patty, huh? Oh yeah. And then once they're in this stage, what, you just plop her in? Plop her in, and then we're gonna set her in the fridge for about 20 minutes to let it, you know, settle, get it hardened, and then they'll be ready to cook. Finished product. Caitlin? Yes. They're gonna be the first one. Give her the old taste test. Ooh, I'm excited. Whoa, that's really close. Some there? hollandaise sauce John made. That just hits, but I think it's because Chef Sam Lehman did it. Uh. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's really good. I like salmon. And it's very fresh. It's better than... It's pretty fresh. It's better than store-bought salmon, you know? Alrighty. Give her my first taste test of the old salmon cake. Looks pretty fire. Isn't that fire? <laughs> it kind of tastes like stuffing at Thanksgiving, but salmon. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. I think it does too. Right on. That's pretty fire. Thanks, Sam, for chefing up. Definitely would recommend this recipe. I've only had it ever like butter on the grill, but this is definitely gonna be added to the arsenal. 
Overall, guys, it's incredible because this thing was swimming just two days ago uh, up here in Alaska. I never thought, one, I'd even be in Alaska. Two, catch a king salmon. I've failed about 10 times before this trip, um, and it just happened to be in Alaska. Like, everything, just all the stars aligned. It was, it literally could not have been more perfect. So finishing it off with a nice meal with everybody around us just, like, mm -hmm. topped off the video. And it's so good. Everything was just, I can't express how just like perfect everything went. So Aww. great day, great salmon. And yeah, the Alaska videos are just starting. I'm excited to stay up here all week and uh, film a bunch of content for you guys. Well guys, with that being said, this is where I am ending today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching me catch my very first king salmon up here in Alaska. Uh, absolutely insane catch and I am really excited to see where the week takes us. Uh, that was like the main fish we wanted to get out of the way. Not like just get out of the way, but we knew it was gonna be the hardest and the king run is kinda gonna be slowing down eventually here. So we wanted to get rid of that uh, right away while they're actually in the river that we were fishing. And yeah, got it done. Two hours into my Alaskan trip and couldn't be happier. So a big shout out to John and Sam for just putting me on the juice right away. But. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know what... I pr you probably won't see anything actually while I'm up here, but let me know your favorite Alaskan memory if you guys have been up here or if you've never been up here, like what you want to do up here. If you guys would like to catch King Salmon because it's probably by far the best catch. So leave those comments down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. Tight lines from NB Edits.